go ahead and install these pillars, six of them, on the bottom deck of the chassis, the bottom plate as they call it. First, I'll go ahead, cut the back. Take six pillars and six bolts for them and leave the rest aside. We seem to again have some spares. PT bolt, flip the base plate with the bottom up, the side which has the line following sensors. Insert a bolt in this hole here from the bottom, flip over and on the side of the motors install a pillar, inserting it into the bolt. Tighten very loosely. Repeat the same procedure with another hole here. I'll go diagonal, install another pillar, bolt from the bottom, pillar from the top, the motor side, make sure no cables are trapped in the process. And the last two, the reason I did the corner ones is that now I can comfortably Place it stable in place. Rest my arms. And the last one. Place the pillar. And this step is completed as shown on the picture. Now I will start connecting the motors and the line following sensor to the breakout board on the Arduino. However, to simplify it, since the line following sensor is right here on the bottom and once when I start connecting all the cables the bottom will be a little bit difficult to reach, I will actually skip this step initially and we'll partially do this step on page 21. This will make the assembly a little bit simpler as you will see. So for this I'll take the last cable, the 5 wire cable, the biggest one. I will flip over this deck insert the cable into the sensor and insert the other end here. When inserting, as you can see, I made sure the two keys are going into the corresponding slots. Now I insert the cable through here and at this point all of my cables are easily accessible here and I don't need to flip over this deck anymore. That is why I wanted to do part of this step, this part of the step, before I place the upper deck on top of this one and start connecting the motors. Obviously, accessing the bottom at that point would have been much more difficult.